As the youngest of the family, Kylie Jenner's made a name and a lip kit for herself that can't be denied. So Kylie, how does it feel to have the title youngest self-made billionaire? I don't really think of myself as I don't wake up in the morning and look at myself in the mirror like, good morning, self-made billionaire. You don't? Um, I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, yeah, it's amazing. You talked a lot about your lips and insecurities around them. Did that catapult you into the beauty industry? For sure. I think my love for makeup started with my insecurity with my lips. And, and what was your insecurity about your lips? I actually, I had really small lips okay. and I didn't ever think about it until I had one of my first kisses and a guy said to me, oh my God, you're such a good kisser. We have such small lips or something like that. <laughs> oh. And then from, wow. then from then on, I felt unkissable. You what? felt unkissable? <laughs> I had an insecurity because this guy said something to me one time. Then I got an obsession with makeup because I would overline my lips and it just made me feel confident. We should name a lip I kit after him. I don't think about it now. Yeah, you should. Seriously. You should do a collab with him. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, we followed a lot of your relationship with Tyga on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yes. How is your relationship with him today? We're not friends, but we are okay if I see him out or if I run into him anywhere, you know, I always wish him well. I have no bad feelings towards him. Molly from San Antonio, Texas, wants to know, why didn't we see Travis on the show? I don't know. I guess he just, sometimes he didn't want to be filmed. I never pressured him to be on the show. Um, you kept your pregnancy a secret mm -hmm. because why? I shared so much of my life. I was also really young when I got pregnant, and it was just a lot for me. Personally, I didn't know how I would bring that to the public too and have, you know, everyone's opinions. I think it was just something that I needed to go through by myself. So I just decided to not even deal with that type of... I think it wasn't that she was secretive from her circle of friends and, like, it was very joyous in our private life. I think it was the greatest decision you made. Yeah, right. you do. And to the public. I really do. Why? I don't know, this is obviously a theory. I've never been pregnant and I'm sure there's studies on this, but I think that the more at peace you are when you are pregnant, that goes into your child. And I think it's a reflection of even her daughter today and how like amazing and beautiful she is, is just because Kylie was so at peace in her pregnancy. And I, am, I really do think it was like the best decision. I do too. I also think that it could get really heightened. I mean, there were times when like, we would be driving and pregnant and paparazzi would almost crash into our cars because right. they just wanted a picture. Like Kylie really wanted to, I think, protect her safety, the baby, like everything and have that just be a private moment. How did you hide? You just stayed behind the gate and didn't go out or what? I stayed in my house and around my neighborhood and then towards the end, there would be helicopters every day. I couldn't even leave my... At your house? Yeah, I couldn't even go outside because they would be shooting all my deliveries. I remember it, people thought it was a crib, but it was like this <laughs> piece of furniture showing up in my house, and it, they would, it was crazy all day, so I just didn't even leave. Wild. Do you think marriage is in the cards for you? I'm not thinking about marriage right now, but I would hope to get married one day.